Welcome to Hamburg Acres. So we are here today to reseed our clover patches. So I planted these clover patches five years ago. Maybe, maybe it might be six already, but last year they didn't do real well. You can just, you can kind of tell. There's still clover growing, but it doesn't, it doesn't get the big full plants anymore. And I sprayed it, I sprayed it with that grass only, trying to cut down on the grass. And that, that worked, but there's still a lot of weeds and stuff in there. And if you get a healthy clover patch, the clover itself will choke out the weeds. So we're gonna reseed this. And what we're gonna use, I, I got a couple of branches here to pick up. There's a few branches right here from this tree that uh, died and came down. Um, I don't remember when that happened. The snow, one of the snowstorms, I think, the top broke off, so I just pulled the tree down. But we're gonna we're gonna take it and we're just gonna scratch the surface. And then we're gonna throw the seed down. Now it is end of April, so we're getting started here. This other the other plot next to us here is the beans. I won't I won't plant the beans until the danger of frost is over, which is usually around May 16th. But I can work up that field, which we will do in the next couple weeks here. But for today, we're just gonna scratch, we're just gonna scratch it just so the seed has some place to go. And I'm gonna show you what I'm using to scratch it with. So I believe I made a video of this, or had it in a video, where I was cutting this apart and adapting it to this hitch. So I have it made now that it tilts and only the, the back half is gonna scrape but what I need to do is I need to change this hitch so that that hitch is down a little lower um, because the bottom of this the bottom of this angle iron hits the dirt first. So I have it tilted right now so that when I drop it, just the back half of this will will scrape and and rip up the the soil a little bit. So that's something in the future that I have to change is that hitch to like put. All I would need is to put the receiver here, put it down underneath the bar, and that would probably be enough to make the difference. That just the drag is touching and not the and not the channel or the angle iron there of that rack. The other option would be to convert something like this, take this what I have made here and convert it into a three-point hitch so I can just hook up to it and, and just use that by itself. And that may be something down the road. I don't have any metal to do that with, but that may be something down the road that I could do, you know? But for right now, it'll work just fine for what I want to do here. And it'll just, it'll just scratch the soil lightly, and then that'll have a place for the seed to drop into. And when it rains, it's supposed to rain Tuesday, that'll all get kind of matted in there, and uh, that'll work good. So we're going to get started here. I'm going to mount the camera back here somewhere so you can kind of see how this this works. With that box on there, I can't really see it. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to put it right here on the uh, on the hitch itself. So let's get started.
All right, so I hope you get the idea. All I was trying to do is scratch the surface. Let's go take a look here quick. So I was trying to scratch the surface without completely destroying the old clover. Now you can see the clover growing here. That should pop right back up and start growing again. Uh, some areas I hit a little better than others, but you can see the you can see the clover in here. And then after I spread the seed now, I'm going to take the chains and drop the chains on there and just kind of pound them in with the chains, pound the seed in with the chains. And at least then I got ground contact now and that should take off pretty quickly here because um, the weather's warming up and we're doing pretty good here uh, for weather wise. It froze really hard last night so that's why the ground is so stiff. Um, if this would, if I would do this later in the afternoon, I'd probably be sinking in a little bit with the tractor. But the ground is pretty stiff because it froze hard last night again. Well, actually, last couple nights. And uh, we're at the end of April. So, uh, according to my chart for the Amberg area, you're looking at May 16th till uh, for the last frost. And that's an average date. You can have frost all the way to Memorial Weekend and into June, I think, if you, if, on certain days but for an average may 16th is the day you know so we're going to spread some seed here quick and uh and rake this in with the chains now i don't remember what brand i used the last time I planted this field. That's five years ago, like I said. I don't remember what brand, but uh, this this year we're using the uh, the Monster Buck because I bought my I bought my soybean seeds from uh, um, Elk Mound Seed Company in Elk Mound, Wisconsin. So they they carry the Monster Buck brand, and that's what that's what this is is the Monster Buck Clover blend, and. Uh, Let's see what's in here. All site clover, Ojibwa clover, Chippewa red clover, Bursum clover, Ladino clover, and Balanz, Balanza clover. Most of that is from Canada. Canada and Oregon, it looks like, is where this seed originates at. So we're gonna try it. It should be good for cold weather. And at some point, I keep I keep hearing the uh, uh, what is what is the other the it starts with a D Dorino Dorino clover or something like that. I I should have looked it up before I started this video, but that's a white clover and everybody says the deer love it. At some point, I may try that in these clover plots and see how it grows here in northern Wisconsin. But this is what we're going to use. We're going to do half in this field and half in our other plot over here food plot number one and I use I use my little uh, Scott's it's called the Scott's Wiz this works great for grass seed and all kinds of stuff um, so I'm gonna use it for this clover here got a little wet in there for some reason So the clover seeds, if you've never seen clover seeds, they're tiny. They're, you, you won't even hardly see them flying out of this, this cedar here. So we're gonna dial this bad boy back to like a three. Yeah, maybe even a start with a two and uh, start seeding. All right, I just did a little test. I'm at three and a half now on here and I can see the seeds coming out pretty good.
So for those of you that are new to food plots, clover, clover is a, I, I, I'd have to look this up again, but I believe they call it a legume, a legume or something. I'm not sure how that's pronounced, but uh, it grows by the roots. It's like, it's like grass, grass grows by the roots. So even if you chop down the top and get completely rid of the, the, the clover on top, the roots are still alive underneath and they just grow new new grass or new clover plants to a point right you know you can it's not that hard to kill grass it's not that hard to kill a grow clover but but that's how they grow they grow under the ground and spread it may not look like you're putting down a lot of seed but once the plant starts and it starts shooting out underneath the ground it by next year this should look really nice i think you know There's a, quite a bit of grass growing already, especially down on that end down there where it gets full sun most of the day. We'll wait a couple weeks and see how this starts growing and then we'll come and spray with that grass only and kill that grass. All right, we're gonna drop the chains and I don't have to put the, uh, I don't have to put the drag down all the way. I just put the chains, just so the chains are dragging on the ground. And we'll rip around a few more times. Well, there you go. I know that probably didn't look like it was doing a lot and it, it really isn't. All it's doing is just kind of knocking some of that loose dirt on top of that seed and kind of raking it in is basically what it's doing. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna do the other food plot yet. And then we're gonna continue this video uh, into May when I plant this other field. And we're just gonna do one video on uh, planting. And uh, so that would be, mid-May before I get back to this and I start doing this other field. So I'll keep you, I'll keep you in touch here with what we're doing and uh, then we'll see hopefully by the time I start plowing that field and getting that ready to go, this will have already taken off and you'll be able to see the progress on the clover. So we'll catch you, catch you in a couple weeks. So food plot one here did not have a whole lot of clover growing the way it looked. Um, it had a lot of moss, this this greenish moss looking stuff here. Uh, the clover, most of the clover was right up here on the hill and that's probably, that's probably because that gets the most sun. This down here does not get that much sun. And there's a nice cherry tree there. I never wanted to cut that one down so it's going to stay there. But I could take that pine that's right behind it there. I could take that pine off and that would help get a little more sun down on that end there but this plot for whatever reason always seemed to work up 
so easy this this ground is really soft here so it looks like I tore it up a lot more I only took one pass two passes on here just like I did the other one but for whatever reason this is always seems softer on this hill right here and uh, so it, it ripped it up pretty good but uh, we got the seed down and we're good to go for a couple weeks here we'll see what it looks like welcome back guys it's about uh, two weeks ago I came over and plowed the field up here it was kind of wet at the time when I did it and uh, it was kind of sloppy down there and whatever but it plowed up okay good enough for for planting seed and uh, you can see behind me over there how the green is already starting to grow back but this year we're gonna plant the roundup ready beans so that as soon as they get this high I can come out here and spray and kill all that other green in there so I wanted to show you the uh, the uh, clover patch here so you can see it's greened up really nice there's a lot of a lot of the old clover came back and then a lot of the young clover is just starting out and the rest is grass so I got to get over here and I got to spray this all with that grass only again and get that grass killed off and then uh, and then the uh, clover will pop and fill in really good let's take a walk over by the other food pot once and see what that looks like so here you can see it a little better all the new clover starting to come up it's nice and green you can see some of the older stuff up here on top plus some of the weeds so I gotta spray this too come over and spray this all and get uh, at least get the grass killed I don't know how to kill the broadleaf because if you come over here with broadleaf spray you're gonna kill your clover so I don't I don't know how to get rid of some of the broadleaf stuff that's growing in here but we'll see what it looks like after I spray for the grass it's the best we can do for this year I got too much other stuff going on So if you remember last year, I had an issue with my little my little seeder that I usually use with these eagle seeds. They're just the right size that they kept getting stuck in there. So I had to use I had to use the big spreader. Um, so I'm just going to do that again this year. I'm going to use the spreader, and I'm going to come back with a tractor and a drag and drag it all, and mix the seed in with the dirt. So this is the seed, eagle seed. It is, uh, it's called Big Fellow, and it's Roundup Ready Soybean. And it's supposed to be tolerant to the deer browse and everything else, and it just keeps growing even though they're eating on it. So, it worked pretty good last year. You can see it's a pretty good sized seed. So I have it set, I have it set on about a five. All right, we're ready to go.
the problem I had last year with this setup here. It just the tires aren't wide enough. Well, I think the camera made it around the field a couple of times. So we're gonna go back and get the tractor and we're gonna drag this quick yet tonight and uh, get this all done and ready to go. Then I don't have to worry about it for a couple of weeks. So we plant a food plot here in northern Wisconsin. Very simple, very easy, uh, simplest equipment we can find. And uh, this grows really good. It grew really good last year. All I did was that drag just just works that seed into all them them uh, grooves that the plow makes, and it just grinds that all in there. And now when it rains, it'll just pack it in, and it'll be good to go. 
and it'll be beautiful. And we're gonna come back in uh, July and we're gonna plant something else uh, in between the beans. So we're gonna try something different this year. So if you like these videos, you know, give me a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.